Okay, so you can see our three bags here, um, left to right, the large sturdy bag, the extra large sturdy bag, and the large backpack with pet from Kelty. Um, so you can see the large sturdy bag is the smallest, the XL sturdy bag is the biggest significantly, and then the Kelty, it looks a little squished right now. It actually is bigger than the large sturdy, um, but still significantly smaller than the extra large. So the Kelty actually has some plastic, the pieces that go in that make it hold its shape kind of like this. They just don't work if you're flying because then you cannot squish the bag under the seat. Um, but I kind of like this. It doesn't have quite as much structure as the poles that you see on the sturdy bags, but it is nice because it, it goes a little bit wider when it does squish under the seat. Um, so, you know, and it's got some other nice features I'll show you too. Um, so Remy actually fits in all three of these bags. Remy, come. Remy is about 13 and three quarters. Get in, in your back. Get in your back. Oh, get in, all the way. Thank you. Um, so this is the bag I taught her on. Um, it is fine for her, she fits. It's a little bit shorter than the other two. Um, she definitely can't stand up, um, but she fits fine. I, she's a smidge on the bigger side for what I like for this particular bag, but she has flown in it as an adult um, and did fine and no one said anything. So I could conceivably fly with her in this one in the future. Okay, um, Kelsey bag, get your bag. Um, this one, definitely a little more room. Um, it's got a lot more length. Um, so a couple, well, a lot. It's got two more inches of length. Get your bag. Um, it's a little wider for her, the way it sits like this, which is nice. Um, she is a little bit of a longer dog. Um, the other thing with this one, and this is a custom bag that I got for actually a 15 inch shelf tube. But this bag has these zippered extensions so that once you are in flight, you actually can give them more room. And that is why I tend to fly up the winter. So you can see she gets an extra three inches if I do that. Um, you know, so once you're in flight, things can stick out from underneath and then you stow it again. I have the same thing on the back of this. So the third bag is the extra large sturdy bag. Um, so you can see, when you see it compared to these two, it's significantly taller. It is 16 inches tall compared to, I believe, 12 for both of these. Um, it definitely can squish to fit under a seat, just like this one. Um, but it's, its general appearance is so much larger than the other two. It's going to draw a lot more questions from flight attendant and the gate people and it's I know people have had issues flying with this bag um you know it, there's certainly small planes where it's just not going to fit so I would love to fly with it but so that she could have a little bit more room but I just I've got two options that work and this one I've taken it with it with me as like a small crate um to use because it'll collapse down I can put it in my suitcase and then I can take it out okay um so it is it's nice, like I said, it, it squishes, it gives them a lot of room, um, but it just, it's, its appearance overall is so much bigger than if you tell someone you know, it's gonna fit under the seat, they're gonna have a harder time believing you, and you know, so that just makes it a little tougher to fly with. Um, but all three work, they're really good. You wanna go? Okay, in your back. Good girl. Okay, in your back. That was nice, good girl. Okay, last one, in your back. Good job.